Hello everyone, this is Tony and welcome to Tony and Karen Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make a turnip cake. It is a traditional Chinese New Year food. The method I shared in this video is from my master Billy. The steps are really simple to follow if you compare it to the other YouTube video. Let's see together how to make it. The turnip cake ingredients are following. Now let's prepare the turnip. Don't shred the turnip like traditional way, because shredding it will lose the juice of the turnip and it won't taste good. We half the turnip and we cut it into a big slices. Then from the slices, we cut again to make it like a small section as you can see on the screen now let's prepare the mushroom so we soak the mushroom in the cold water for about three to six hours or overnight is even better after you remove the steam then you add some cornstarch and mix it together as the cornstarch will stick the dirt and the smell of the mushroom then you rinse the mushroom under the cold water to clean it now the way to clean it is really easy you just brush a bit the surface press and release the water trapped inside the mushroom then we dice the mushroom first we slide it and we dice it now we have to prepare the sausages Chinese sausages and meat is hard to cut so we cook it in the hot water for one minute when it becomes soft we slice it again and we dice the sausages same thing for the preserved meat Remember to cook it in the hot water and then dice it. After that, we go to cut the shrimp into small pieces. The diced ingredients cannot be too big or too small. If it is too big, it will fall apart when you cut the tuna cake. But if it is too small, you can't even feel about it when you eat it. So I suggest you to cut the size as I show you on the screen here. Now the water is boiling. We will use this water to cook the turnip for about 10 minutes until the turnip is soft. I added about 10 grams of raw sugar in the water. It will enhance the flavor. Now the pan is hot. It's time for me to add the sausages and the preserved meat. Cook it over medium heat without any oil. Here I cooked it about 3 minutes and I can see that it's lightly brown. So I add the shrimps and mix it together. Now I don't add all the ingredients together and cook at the beginning because when the sausages release the oil, ingredient like mushroom will absorb all the oil so the meat cannot be cooked well it will not be fragrant now all the ingredients now you smell really good it's time for me to add the mushroom and mix it well cook for another one to two minutes Then we put all the cooked ingredients aside. It is now time to prepare the flour mixture. First, I'm going to add all the dried seasoning into the flour mixture here. And then we need a egg beater to help us to mix the 
liquid uh, together with the flour. We, I have already mixed all the wet seasoning together with the water, and I will add it into the flour mixture here and mix it together. Now, don't add all the water or the liquid in one shot. At the time by time, stir it on the same time until the mixture is smooth. As you can see now, the mixture is super smooth and it is time for me to add the cooked ingredient. I will preserve about one little bowl of cooked ingredient for decoration used. The rest, I add it all into the flour mixture here. And then we mix it together. Now the turnip is cooked and it's soft and the water is boiling. So it is time to mix this into the flour mixture. This step is, is really critical and you have to do it quick. We pull all the cooked turnip and the hot water into the flour mixture. And quickly we have to mix it together. If you do it slowly, the mixture cannot be mixed together and the mixture will be totally fail and you cannot, you cannot cook it anymore. It's a failure. So you keep stirring until the mixture is thickened like what I'm doing here as you can see on the screen. The mixture is thick like a mashed potato. And it's time for me to add in the container. Brush some cooking oil inside the container before adding the turnip mixture. Then fill up the container about 70% full with the turnip mixture. When you steam the turnip cake, it will rise up a bit so you don't want to make it too full. If you want the surface to be smooth, you can cover it with the plastic wrap, like this. Then use your hand to smooth the surface. The turnip cake needs to be steamed for about 75 minutes over high heat. The turnip cake is now ready. So we let the cake cool down before we slice it, otherwise it will fall apart. So let's take it out and let it cool down. Slice the turnip cake and pan fry it in medium heat and enjoy it. Now the turnip cake is completed. I hope you will find this video useful so that you can make your own turnip cake next time. Thank you for watching this video and see you next time. Here are the images of the ingredient you need. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave me any messages.